Hi everybody, I'm Jordan Rolfus from Beagle Rampant Productions. And I'm Selena Rolfus. And we are continuing our Let's Play of Carrier for the Dreamcast here. In the previous episodes, we defeated Pisces Raptor. I raged at Pisces Raptor. We got up to deck six. Lieutenant Lang has a weird plant-looking vial that headquarters wanted him to return, so... That's kind of interesting. I it, think we should take it away from him. Yeah, if you can't play nicely with your toys, you shouldn't play with them at all. And the engineer doctor, who kind of runs the computer system for the ship, he's been infected by Ark. He's still safe, but Ark's pretty much got him. And we actually met Ark um, in the last episode. A and pretty plant boy. He is a pretty plant boy. Hashtag plant core. Yeah, it's your plant core. In terms of items and health, okay, we're at full health, and we have not the best amount of ammo, and we have one it makes energy it scarier. drink. It does make it... I mean, I'm more receptive to be scared in a position like this, because I'm not getting enraged with uh, do I even want to fool around with this nonsense? Have we explored every room in here? No, not even close. There's all of the nonsense we need to explore. Yeah. And I think you need to get some more keys. Yes. To open we, up Ark's room. Yeah, we are looking for officers that have keys. Um, yeah, we're not in a, the most winnable of situations, but we're not in the most losable of situations either, so um, I'll bark at it. Alrighty, Sergeant Jack Ingalls! How are you doing, YouTube world? We just started this recording session. You know, it's uh, like, you know, the sessions are like, maybe different from like how you're viewing them. Us recording them is different from that. Holy Moses! Oh, there he is! That's not Ark, that's just a regular boy. I mean, he's implanted with Ark. I'm sitting here trying to be friendly with YouTube. Now, Squeak Dude, you said you were watching somebody doing some live streaming this weekend. And yes, I was watching um, Ink Ribbon's live stream of Silent Hill. He did that whole game in one fell swoop. Well, actually, I didn't stick around till the end of it, because it was dinner time. There we go. Yeah. Um, but I think he did. Like, he was definitely near endgame when I tuned out. <laughs> nice. And he said he bought a Dreamcast specifically for Carrie. I mean, I imagine he's probably going to get some other games, too. That just, um, that that boggles my mind, man. Of course, being a Dreamcast, it's not working well for him, so... Oh, look at me! I'm a, the smart Alex Sony fan, girl. You might have to put it in um, pancake mode. That's what I refer to, putting it upside down. You know, it's crazy to um, think, but um, pancake mode works. We got through the game D2 by putting the Dreamcast upside oh down. Oh my gosh, D2 is so good. Yeah, like, I could see somebody buying a Dreamcast for D2, which, that, uh, among other things, that, uh, among the really great price we got When on we it. were kids and, like, the Dreamcast was actually popular, um, I would, like, read gaming magazines and I would see articles and ads for D2 and I'd be like, Oh, I really want to play that, but I don't have a Dreamcast, and it's silly to buy a system for one game. No, it's not silly at all, man. Like, because you'll get other things for it. Look at him hanging there. It's like, what are you doing, brah? Oh, just hanging out. D2 
dude. Are you not close enough? I don't want to get too close to him. But you might not be close enough for it to register. Which really begs the question, dude. Like, ooh, a thing. Object. Ooh, lore, it has been, I can't even tell you how long yeah, it's been since we lore. Yeah, this game doesn't give us nearly enough lore. Yeah, this game is like, if you want lore, um, look somewhere else, because this game is not going to scratch your riches. Scratch your riches. The end of my life. Heimdall A. de Decamp, Kelly Arnold. During a meeting with the four council members who hold keys to the locker, we determined that the existence of Ark was a threat to humanity. We decided to destroy Ark with high-power liquid explosives. Before completing the task, we were ravaged by mutants. I can no longer walk. I wonder if the other council members somehow survived. Whoever finds this letter, please search for the four keys and immediately destroy Ark. Yeah. I will do what I can. Ooh, object? Ooh, an EID card. You know, there were a ton of nonsensical locked doors. Now, is that one of the keys for ARC or just a regular key? That's just a regular key card. The ARC keys are, um... Looks like there's a door yeah. kind of near you you haven't gone in yet. It should connect. It's locked from the other side. I have to go in and... I feel ya. Alright, I don't want to see what's down this hallway, but sort of have to. Is that... Are you one of those, uh, ceiling freaks? This game's being cheap. Can you run past him? Oh, look, it's the game over screen. I... Guys, I mentioned this plenty of times before. I'm not, like, able to hardcore rage at this because, like, we're not in the worst of situations. I refuse to use that, um that healing drink at the moment though because I don't know what this game's got in store but um this game is just so cheap like they know we're towards the end so they have to like really stretch it out with nonsense like if you were to actually assess the amount of content they have in this game yeah, you're probably looking 20 minutes. Uh, there's probably more than that. No, probably 20 minutes. Uh, I think 20 minutes of actual content. When you're not factoring in, you know, getting attacked by a cheap villain or um, anything like that. We're probably only looking at about 20 minutes of content. Yeah, so... Guys, I feel like I don't have my energy up, like, you know. Gotta get hype for Carrier! I know, I'm kind of just like... Uh, you may have noticed, guys, I'm, I'm going through the motions with Carrier now. Like, we've been playing this for so long, it hasn't gotten that much better. We did have, like, a long pause. Was it, like, a problem with the capture card, or...? Or a problem with my enthusiasm? I think it was a problem with my enthusiasm. Yeah, enthusiasm problems are definitely... And, like, you can't fight, like, when you're in a different, um, like, camera angle from the bad guys, like... But, you know, um, survival horror, like... Oh my god, am I gonna... <laughs> is this gonna be a... Well, uh, to be horrible is to make it scary. Well, like... 
With action games, they encourage you to fight all the enemies, right? But with survival horror, uh, one of the main things of it is asking yourself, is this combat, is this fight really worth it? I mean... You know, like, if you can avoid a fight, maybe you should avoid a fight. Yeah, and I mean, it looks like I'm kind of going to have to avoid, like, some of these fights. As much as I can, at least. But, like, the villains themselves are really cheap because of that reach there. We already read the um, lore for you guys there. Don't forget the key card. Yes, gotta remember the key card. You know, I think I've earned another save point after running through those guys. Like, see, this encounter is this encounter yes. worth it. There's not enough room for me to run past him. Yeah. Like, you notice I did run past all the others, but this, like, I don't... He swing, he would swing way too low, like, his swinging would be, you know, in my, in my zone, as it were. Man. And, like, they have to fill this deck with, like, the most annoying enemies. They, I wouldn't say the most annoying. It could be a room full of Shambler. Oh, Like, precious. every room is Shambler. We love to see it. No, we're, we're good. I don't need that kind of energy in my life. You know, the unnecessary Shambler. Uh-uh. I don't... Object. I don't trust it. They're all objects? Oh lord. Do I have to blow something up? Probably. You can't push boxes, can you? No, you can blow boxes up. But the problem is me running away from the blast. You know, yeah, toss me a bone and give me a save station here. I know you gotta be sucky to be scary, apparently. Oh no! Oh, there's a dude. One of the keys. So that's like what, two now? I think so. I am so not a fan. I well, love this game, but, um... Aww. I mean, it, They could be way worse with it, so... I like that. But I'm also leery of it. But again, I am not going to use any healing items until... Why would until... you blow that box up? Just walk around the big crate. You're right. I mean, I know they give you unlimited bombs, but you have to make it to the magazine to get those unlimited bombs. I do. I think I do have to blow up. I have to blow something up. Why do you think that? Yeah, because, like, you go around. Yeah. And... It's empty. Wait. You don't have to blow oh, up. Oh, it, okay, it's, it, it's a square. That, that is, um, Fun with Shapes featuring Sergeant Jack Ingalls. Um, oh, Lord. 
Look at all that nonsense. I'm very close to the magazine. And magazines mean saving. Yeah. And I like to save. Okay. Where Danger. is it? Where is it? Are those shrooms? Is the danger shrooms? I love mushrooms, my gosh. Mushrooms are some of my favorite foods. I love Indian Bartha mushroom. I think uh, I'm smart enough to know that I have to blow up those mushrooms. First reserve locker, second reserve, yep. What? What? Or you could just wait for it to stop pooping and walk through then. Yeah. I knew, I know you game. I know you were about to do some nonsense. Oh, Lord. You gotta thoroughly scan every room you go into, man. Do you feel like the scanner maybe takes away some of the horror? <laughs> Don't give the game ideas to be worse. Something's written on the wall, 014. If it only were readable. You should blow those mushrooms up. We should. Thirty-nine fourteen. Well, verbal walkthrough us knows it if I don't know it. Yep. Thirty-nine. Does that 30. guy have a key or anything? Uh, does he? You should talk to corpses. They're great conversationalists. They are. They don't talk back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he just had a code. I don't even think you guys miss me. You just were using me for my code. Spare parts for the engine. Are we gonna take him? Uh, he doesn't want to, but I know video games enough to know that I have to remember this stupid room. This... first reserve locker. Alright, so we're kinda near the magazine. Ugh, but there's a hallway. Hallways usually mean trouble. <laughs> Just ask the hall mon- You know, I, when we were at school, we never ran into hall monitors. I think it's because our school was very small. Like, wasn't my 8th grade graduating class like 35 people or something? I'd be surprised if it was even that big, but yeah. Yeah, like, I think hall monitors are for like big schools. But also, like, the hall monitor, okay? It's usually a student, right? Yeah. Uh, shouldn't the student be there uh, learning a thing in the class? I imagine they probably have some kind of excuse Free to period. be out of the class. Like, but, like, what what class do you forsake? Like, you know, you know enough of that mathematics. Guys, if you've ever had a hall monitor in your school, uh, let me know down in the comment section below. I feel what, like what when like. I would have to go out to the vans for, like, speech therapy. Yeah, Squeak Do and I, ironically, we had to go out and uh, do um, a speech interventionist. And, um, yeah, it precluded me from taking German class, so... I, I think I got out of religion class. Oh, man, yeah. Like, because uh, you go to all school Like, it math, wasn't anyway. math or science they took us out. Right, right. But, um, yeah, man, it's all. 
But yeah, we had to go to um, speech therapy vans. Um, but if you listen to footage of us talking as kids, um, anyone would see it was a uh, warranted decision. Um, I still sometimes struggle with it. Like, if I talk too fast. I mean... Like, it's especially like, words with a lot of R's. Like, you know, um, that other word for country? Rural? Yeah. Yeah, I mean cannot say that word. And like when... I'd just be like, you know, the country area. You know, when the Wii U um, released the Wabu Rabu Plaza. Like, <laughs> Don't mock me, Wii U. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. That, that's even kind of rough for me to say, but um, yeah, like... But overall, though, like, yeah, I mean, I think overall we made improvements, you know, uh, we worked at it, and I think we're good enough to record for threes of people on the YouTube. Threes of people. So, episode 28 would be really short if we call it here, but this is, is this a good calling point? I mean, it'd be an abnormally short episode of Carrier. Are you guys okay with an abnormally short episode of Carrier? Are you okay with an abnormally short episode? I mean, a twenty-minute episode. Twenty-minute episode. But then, uh, do we want to get really involved in something? Uh, well, let's look at the map. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So those red doors are those doors that can be opened with the new key you got. I don't know. Uh, we'll try it. Okay, so we'll we'll, we'll continue a little bit. Yeah. We, we just did a save. We kind of know where the magazine is. All right, guys, so this is not going to be a short episode. Could be a long episode. You never know. But I like Wait, that. Wait, are we, we going the right way? I'm always going the right way. Okay. But yeah, hall monitors, always a good time. No. Like, but if you were the hall po- hall monitor, would you be popular or not popular? I feel like you would be not very popular, because isn't that kind of like being a narc? Yeah, like... I don't know, like... Unless you were so popular that you had enough cool points that you could afford to lose some. To by being hall monitor, I mean, like... Were any of you Beagle Pups hall monitor? Yeah, let me know what this is like. Did you have enough cool points to cover it? Yeah, uh, yeah, tell me all about being the hall monitor, if any of you were. We don't have cool points. Yeah, yeah, no, Squeak do not... It's locked. Um... Well, that sucks. Are you sure you're locked? Okay. Well, it insists on being locked, so I don't know. Guys, you ever hit that point when you're um, doing a project and you just straight up stop caring? I was joking with Jorn a little bit before we started recording that um, actually this game's going to be like um, the Zelda game... Not Link's Awakening, a Link, Link to, the, to past. the Past. Yeah. Um, where like you think you're fighting Gan, and then it's the final boss, but that's just the halfway part of the game, and now you're in Dark World. Yeah, I. It's would... the halfway point of the game, and now you're in Dark Heimdall. <laughs> <laughs> well, I would have a harder time believing that because, like, this game is only one disc. Oh, dude, Can this you is... run past him? Yes. Yeah. If you can run past him, do run past him. Because they seem like they're way tougher when they get on the ground. Yeah, keep running. <laughs> yeah, well, he's running too. This is what bravery looks like. 
Sergeant Jack Ingalls. Oh my god, I'm gonna go to the other save station. I'm kinda near the other save station. Whenever I run to a save station in this uh, godforsaken game, I am going to save. Wouldn't it be crazy if they had, like, um, ink ribbons, like Resident Evil? Oh, I'd be livid. Limited saves? I would be livid. This game would be unplayable. We would start our next project, which I am so looking forward to. I am um, sent the game in to get a new battery on it um, from uh, Reedy Niner, the um, eBay seller Reedy Niner, and it works even better than how it did back in the 90s. So Nice. Yeah, this is... Yeah, that game was your jam back in the 90s. Oh, man. It, it's one of... It's in my top of favorites of all time. And people watching this are probably like, wow, they're talking a lot about the next project, but they aren't talking about Carrier. Well, why would I talk There's about Carrier? There's not a lot to say about Carrier. You know... Yeah, like, dog poop is dog poop. I wouldn't call it dog poop, but... Some days more poopier than others. Do you guys feel like... When you're ingesting media, that there's certain settings that you like and certain types of settings that you don't like. Like, I'm not a fan of industrial looking settings. They just don't seem too interested in, interesting to me. Right. Like, I'm not a fan of like, you know, the abandoned warehouse. Uh, yes. A lot of stuff is filmed there, maybe because it's cheaper. It's cheap. I don't yeah. know. Squeak Dude loves watching CW shows and a lot of CW. Like, oh, they're in an abandoned warehouse. Arrow did that a lot. Yeah, I mean, three pistol magazines, hot dog. Um, now this, the setting on the Heimdall is maybe a little better because you have the plants everywhere, so that makes it kind of interesting. To deactivate the security lock for the engine yes, room. Yes, do it. 3194. So the long and short of it is the setting of this game doesn't interest me so much. Right. Was that correct? It was 3194, wasn't it? I believe so. Oh. Uh, what does the verbum walkthrough have said? 3914? I think it was 3914. Yep, yeah, it was 3914. Oh. I misread them. Alright, so we unlocked the engine room. Hmm. Now there is a part of me that is thinking about head battle data reception console. It's not functioning. Oh, I can't learn about the battle data? So now I'm... I heard a creaky noise. That better not be the Dreamcast or the capture card. It might have just been me shuffling in my chair. Yeah, Squeak Doo's chair is, like, behaving very, very badly lately. It's been, like, screaming. It's tired of having my fat <laughs> oh, ass on yeah. it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I would be screaming, too. D or, dude, like, my chair has gotten into the habit of, like, losing one of its wheels on a regular basis. We really do need to, like, up our Up our chairs, yeah. Like, yeah. But and get like a whole like rig, like maybe with like some little neon signs. Get a neon Sega sign. I would totally bark at that, and a neon Nintendo sign because we're we we were originally Nintendo kids. We were. Uh, we can't save in the Hello Kitty VMU. Yeah. No, I, she's very particular about what goes in her. Indeed, yes, and uh, Carrier just doesn't fit the bill. All right, so. I'm Jordan Rolfus from Beagle Rampant Productions. I'm Selena Rolfus. Thank you guys so much for watching. You know you're the best fans of any YouTuber in the world. Kind of a chiller episode, but that's okay, because we're hanging out and having fun. We'll catch you. Follow us on the social media. 
We'll catch you there on the social media. Yeah. And also catch you with the next episode of Carrier. Catch you in the engine room. In the engine room, maybe, if I know where that is. Bye! Bye!